Bethany, being here with you right now is something I've been waiting on for a very long time. It's crazy to think that at this point I've known you for just about half of my life. You have truly been the greatest blessing God could give. I've told you this before, but I need to repeat myself. Although I know I was a hyper little kid when we first met, I knew there was something special about you. Whenever I was around you, life just felt right. I could already tell that I had to be with you, and now I have the opportunity to pledge my loyalty to you. You are such a godly woman. The first thing that caught my attention about you is your love for Christ and your maturity and faith. You yearn to continue your spiritual walk and seek to further the kingdom through every soul that you meet. This and this alone could fuel my desire for you, but you're too good to let it stop there. Gosh. God made us all in his image, but I can't help but think he put a little bit more of his perfect image in you. When I look at you, I'm truly in awe of the wonders God can create. Although I want to spend an eternity expressing an enormous number of vows, there are two that I think encapsulate them all. Firstly, I vow to keep God first in our relationship. We are here because of him, so I think it's only fair that we continue to pursue him. God has blessed us both so much, so let's go together and share his goodness with the world. I vow to also never let you forget that you are the love of my life. I won't pretend as though we will never experience troubles. However, I know we will experience many joys through the adventure of marriage. Having said that, no matter where you're living your best lives or suffering heartaches, I need you to know that you were the one I choose to love. I will wake up every day knowing that I am yours and that you are mine. I love you, Bethany. Hmm. Can't kiss you. I know you want to. <laughs> Justin Keith Willis. Eleven years ago, you became my friend. Six years ago, you became my first boyfriend. Last year, you became my fiance. And today, you will finally become my husband. Those who know me well know just how indecisive I can be. However, following Jesus Christ and choosing to marry you have been the two easiest decisions of my life. You have loved me through my awkward teenage years, long distance dating, 2 a.m. library dates in college, I'm very sorry about that, <laughs> and an entire coronavirus quarantine with my big, loud family. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, too. <sighs> you have held me when I have cried from pain, stress, and sadness, but we have also laughed until we cried. You love me so well, but we are only able to truly love each other because Jesus loved us first. In that same way, I will choose to love you all day, every day. You are the funniest, smartest, weirdest, most kind-hearted man I know. You are honest, and you'll be the first to stand up for what you believe. With all this said, I make these following promises. I promise to encourage you, support you, and honor you. I promise to keep dating you, get to know you, have fun with you, and laugh with you. I promise to be patient, caring, intentional, honest, loyal, and kind. I promise to point you to God and remind you of his constant faithfulness. And most of all, I promise to love Jesus first and you second for all the days of my life. It has always been you and will always be you. Yesterday and today and tomorrow, I commit my life to you. I love you. <laughs> Hashtag relationship goals. <laughs> May I have the rings, please? Morgan. Oh, we have them? Unbelievable. <laughs> we were just having a very holy moment to go all broke. <laughs> For as much as you have conceded together in a holy wedlock and the witness of the same before God in this company, 
and have declared the same by joining of hands, I now pronounce you our husband and wife together in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. As God has joined two to become one flesh, Justin, it is now your privilege and your honor to kiss your bride. All right. Mr. and Mrs. Justin Willis. Clearer. 